Hi there and welcome back. In this video we will be looking at the neoplastic disorders. Okay. So brain tumors. Brain tumors are the abnormal growths of brain tissue and meninges. Most of the primary intracranial tumors arise from the neo neuroglial cells that is gliomas or the meninges that is the meningiomas. Examples of gliomas are astrocytoma or oligodendroglioma. Now these names you have already heard if you look at the astrocytes turns into the astrocytoma or oligodendrites turns into oligodendroglioma. Meninges turns into meningiomas, things like that. So, uh, the most malignant form is astrocytoma. When it comes to astrocytoma, is the glioblastoma multiform. That blast means immature. And these tumors can cause swelling or the cerebral edema in the hydrocephalus or the cerebral spinal fluid in the ventricles of the brain, right? So if there is too much fluid and as a result too much pressure in the brain, the swelling can occur near the optic nerve at the back of the eye. Gliomas are removed surgically or radiotherapy can be used if they are not completely resected. Steroids are frequently given after the surgery to reduce the swelling and uh, as far as the meningiomas are, are there, uh, they are usually benign and surrounded by a capsule but they may cause compression and distortion of the brain. About 25 to 30 percent of tumors in the brain are metastatic growths. Most arise in lungs, breast, uh, if in skin, then of course underwriters know melanoma, uh, kidney and GI tract. Neuroblastoma is the malignant tumor in children arising from primitive nerve cells that is called neuroblast. Neuroblastomas may be inherited in some cases. Uh, they often occur in the adrenal gland but they are found in other areas of the body as well. Uh, treatment is surgical removal of the primary mass, radio or chemotherapy is also given. Okay. So, what are the typical signs and the symptoms? It could go from uh, vomiting, cognitive decline, speech problems, headache, seizures, you name it. I put down this slide here again. We have reviewed this before about the different law and the different functions. Depending upon the tumor, the location of the tumor, the different parts of the brain, and the functions of the brain there is a correlation so you could see that why when you have something that goes wrong in your brain like a brain tumor it could have certain type of signs uh, signs and symptoms associated because they are not normal again we have some of those with us who may not have the medical background so I don't want to dive deep into but there are variety of brain tumors uh, that we can learn again this shows different ways that what can be the po possible type of tumors we can have within the nervous system uh, depending upon the cells, depending upon the locations, uh, depending upon the cause. And underwriters like the statistics. So this is something that reveals the distribution of childhood, primary brain and central nervous system tumors. So up to age 14 and those who are in the age group of 15 to 19 what type of tumor and what percentage again this was done not recent 
but it was way back in 2008 to 2012. Needless to say that as far as the treatment goes, it depends upon the type and size and location and growth of the tumor and the overall general health of the patient. And then your doctor and the surgeon will look at what best meets the right course of treatment options to start with uh, observation and then medication and then drug chemo surgery and or all of those is appropriate okay that's all i have on this one i will see you soon take care bye bye